Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to a Monday of racing here at Colonial Downs. Just a reminder that coming up at 12.15 p.m. in about 15 minutes' time, we have the first of our two steeplechase races. They are races 10 and 11 in your program. Again, these are run before race 1 and the flat racing portion of our card. So, again, races 10 and 11 coming up, race 10 at 12.15, so about 15 minutes from now, and a race 11 at 12.50. And uh, we invite you to come down and join us on the apron to uh, watch the steeplechase events or streamed live, of course, the National Steeplechase website. 15 minutes to today's first of two steeplechase events.
Again, a reminder, we will be beginning the steeplechase portion of our card here in just about eight minutes' time at 12.15 p.m. The horses will be coming onto the track shortly for that 10th race. Race 11 will be run at 12.50. That is the second steeplechase event. In the 10th race upcoming, Scratch the number four, Best Chance. Number four, Best Chance is scratched. And in race 11, scratch all of the also eligibles, 11, 12, and 13. The horses coming out of the track, post parading for today's 10th race, race 10, a maiden hurdle event. Four-year-olds and upward, they'll be at two and a quarter miles over the turf. A field of eight set to go, presenting the field, number one, Gray Illusions, R&K Racing LLC, and the international venture are the owners, Kerry Bryan trains, Parker Hendricks rides. Number two is Tapwood, Northwood Stable, and Sheila Williams are the owners, Jack Fisher trains, Graham Waters aboard. Three is Captain Middleton, Leaper's Fork Steeplechase, the owners, Leslie Young trains, Harrison Beswick rides. Scratch the four, number five is an off. TNC Stables and Joanne Morris are the owners, Sam Cockburn trains, and Bernard Dalton rides. Six is Royale, Cheyenne Stable, the owners, Sarge Kingsley Jr. trains, and Mark Watts rides. Number seven is Ty Terrier, Mason Hardaway Lampton, the owner. Catherine Nielsen trains, Barry Foley up. Number eight is Project Two, Michael Smith, the owner. Leslie Young trains, Thomas Garner rides. Completing the field, number nine is Ludicrous Mode. Lucy Golent owns, Mark Beecher trains, and Jamie Bargery rides. Post time for today's Tenth, the first of two steeplechase events. These are races 10 and 11 in your program. Post time is coming up in just five minutes.
Less than two minutes to start time for today's 10th race. Again, two steeplechase events to kick off our program this afternoon. Races 10 and 11 in your program. First one coming up here in just a couple minutes, and the second one at 12.50 p.m. This one at two and a quarter miles, so they'll start right in front of the grandstand here. The horses making their way now into starting position for today's 10th. First of two steeplechase events here, two and a quarter miles. Field of eight here. These are maiden four-year-olds and upward. Starter Harrison Barnes getting them set to go. The flag is up. And they're off. Project 2, Thomas Garner going to lead them out here early as ludicrous mode. So the two outside post positions at least, or program numbers I should say, head into the first jump on the home stretch there. They'll now go into that first of four turns and head to the three back stretch jumps as Project 2 leading it just by a head. Ludicrous mode up on the outside, Tapwood in the red hat is down toward the inside in the third position. Then comes Captain at Middleton in the fourth spot and off down toward the inside is fifth, about four and a half lengths behind. Then comes Ty Terrier, Gray Illusions after that. It's another five then back to Royale, who is the early trainer. So they make their way onto this big Colonial Downs backstretch. Three backstretch jumps await them as Project 2. Going to lead it now by a length and a half. Getting a touch closer now. Ludicrous mode and Tapwood down toward the inside under stout restraint from that third position as they head to the first of the three backstretch jumps. All eight up and over well as they head to the second jump now. Project 2. Still leading as Tapwood sneaking through down toward the inside along with Ludicrous Mode and off under a good hold fourth right now. Just two and a half lengths separate them. Not too strung out here early on. Captain Middleton's right to that one's outside in the green and blue diamonds. Then comes Ty Terrier. Gray Illusions with one beat early on and that's Royale who's about four or five lengths detached from the field. As they go into that far turn. It's been a project two. Ludicrous Mode been second for much of the journey as Tapwood Still there inside in third, so very little change here is now Captain Middleton up on the outside puts a nose into the fourth position and off just inside of that one. And fifth, the top five only separated by three and a half. After that, then comes Gray Illusions, Ty Terrier. They're sixth and seventh, and they're still five or six clear of Royale, who continues at the back. So to the top of the stretch they come with two home stretch jumps ahead of them. And Project 2 continues on. Project 2, ludicrous mode, tap one to the inside. Captain Middleton continues to progress on the outside as they come toward the first of two home stretch jumps here. All eight of them up and over pretty well. Royale had just a tiny stumble at the back there as they have one circuit remaining left in this two and a quarter mile journey. Project two hounded throughout by ludicrous mode. Those two still just separated by a neck as they go into the third turn now. Tapwood pushed along the stay up in there and off still in behind and traveling very well and off continues to catch the eye in behind but is in tight quarters there. Captain Middleton's fifth right now down to the inside tie terrier and gray illusions and it's now about nine or ten lengths back to Royale who's at the back. So they have three more jumps remaining in this journey and just about a mile left to go. As up on the front end, it's still Project 2. Ludicrous Mode will not let him shake loose, though. Still just a half length back in the second position and off. Traveling third right now, two and a half lengths adrift as they head to the three backstretch jumps. Tapwood has lost a spot there. Is now back fourth. Alongside of that one is Captain Middleton as they head over the first backstretch jump. And all up and over well, with the exception of Royale, who it appears is being eased at the back. Royale, the number six, has been eased at the back of the field. Did not take the backstretch jump. So one jump remaining. As they head over it now, it's still Project 2 there. Ludicrous Mode 
continues on in second and off third, just two lengths behind as they go into that far turn. It's three more than back to Captain Middleton. Up on the outside, Gray Illusions is starting a run, is only about six or seven lengths off. Ty Terrier just inside of that one, and it's four or five more back to Tapwood. As these top two have been one, two pretty much throughout. Project two around the far turn, three quarters of a length, now a length in front of Ludicrous Mode, who's pushed along from second. It's two and a half more then. Back to Captain Middleton. Gray Illusions continues that sustained bid. An off dropped right out of there, was passed by Ty Terrier. Project two tries to sneak away. Project two to the top of the stretch. Running on down the far outside, Gray Illusions continues to make up ground, but has to make up five as Project two tries to sneak away. Project two coming to the furlong pole. The lead is now six or seven. Gray Illusions up to second. Ty Terrier trying to run on up into that third position, but with a final 16th to go, it's all Thomas Garner and Project 2 took them all the way here in today's 10th. Project 2 geared down, won it by 7.5, 8 in the end. Gray Illusions was second, Ty Terrier third, fourth, went to ludicrous mode. Eight one seven nine. The order of finish. Eight one seven and nine. Final time four oh two point seven two seconds. Eight one seven nine. Again, 8179, the order of finish. Project 2, the winner. Here's Project 2 into the winner's enclosure. Four-year-old Dark Bayer Brown Gelding by Bellardo out of McSora, bred in Ireland by Wardstown Stud Limited. Michael Smith, the winning owner. Leslie Young, the winning trainer. And Thomas Garner aboard for the winning ride as...
Project 2 goes all the way here in today's 10. Today's 11th race will come up at 12.50 p.m. Again, reminder, two steeplechase events run here before the wagering portion of our card. The flat racing program starts at 1.45 p.m. But coming up at 12.50 in 27 minutes' time, scratch the also eligibles. 11, 12, 13 are out. A field of 10 remain in. It's a maiden starter allowance. Post time is coming up in 27 minutes.
thoroughbred aftercare alliance is really the vehicle for the transition for our uh, racehorses coming off the track into uh, a second career and, and safe environment for, for these horses when they're done racing. I've been passionate about racehorses my whole life, animals in general, and without the TAA to provide that oversight, there would be a big void in terms of making sure that we have this ongoing safe environment for our off-the-track racehorses. I'm excited about the undertaking and excited about working with our, our board and, and our, our team at the TAA to continue um, the wonderful progress that has been made. So I'm very excited about what the future holds.
horses coming on to the racetrack for today's 11th race. It's a maiden starter allowance steeplechase event at two and a quarter miles over the firm turf here at Colonial Downs. A field of 10 starts with the one market bubble. Northwood Stable and Sheila Williams are the owners. Jack Fisher trains. Jamie Bargery rides. Two is Please Call Me Back. Upland Flats racing the owners. Carrie Bryan trains and Parker Hendricks rides. Three is On to Love. Valley Bristol Farm LLC, the owners. Leslie Young trains. Harrison Beswick aboard. Number four is Hard Game. Hard Game LLC, the owners. Catherine Nielsen trains and Barry Foley rides. Number five, Quality Choice. Holwood Stable, the owners. Mark Beecher trains. Brent Owings rides. Number six, Lahara, or, or QR Stables, rather, is the owners. Neil Morris trains and Graham Waters rides. Number seven, Seismic Wave. William Russell's the owner. Neil Morris trains. Alex Harvey aboard. Number eight is Real Factor, Hurricana Farm. The owners, Arch Kingsley Jr. trains. Mark Watts rides. Number nine, 21 Guns. Ashwell Stable, LLC, the owners. Leslie Young is the trainer. Thomas Garner aboard. Completing the field, number 10 is Brave Deacon. Blythe Miller Davies, the owner. Joseph Davies trains. Teddy Davies rides. Scratch the also eligibles. 11, 12, and 13 are all scratched. We're just a couple minutes away from today's 11th race. Horses getting ready for the start of today's 11th race. Again, two and a quarter miles here, our steeplechase event, race 11. Flat racing car getting underway in 52 minutes at 1.45 p.m. 
Ten of them set to go here, two and a quarter miles. Harrison Young, the flag is up. And they're off. Market bubble from the inside, real factor from the outside. Those two coming to this first home stretch jump. One, two as real factor. Takes a short lead over market bubble. On to love in tight there in the third position. Down on the inside comes quality choice in fourth. It's a break of length and a half more back to Brave Deacon who gets to the inside in fifth. Alongside of that one is hard game in the all green colors in sixth. It's a length and a half more than back to 21 guns. Seismic wave is back third last. Lahara and please call me back the two at the back as they head toward the back stretch. Three back stretch jumps await them as real factor in Mark Watts, the leader onto the back stretch in front now by a widening five. On to Love up into a clear cut second as Quality Choice moves alongside a market bubble. They're right together third and fourth and they are a pretty strung out group here of ten as they head into the first of three back stretch jumps. Everyone up and over well as they head to back stretch jump two and Real Factor still the leader. Real Factor by four and a half five on to Love. Market bubble toward the inside and right to their outside Quality Choice. It's two and a half more lengths, then back to Brave Deacon, who's in the fifth spot all alone. It's about four or five more. Oh, we had a rider come off there. Number seven, Seismic Wave. Alex Harvey came off after that third backstretch jump. Again, jockey Alex Harvey came off there. Appears to be sitting kind of halfway up there. We'll try to keep updated on that as he is right behind the third jump. Like he's holding his knee as he's sitting down. So we'll keep that updated because obviously the horses have to go by there once again. Uh, up front, though, it's Real Factor the leader. Real Factor in front by three and a half or four to On to Love in the second spot. Market Bubble is third. Quality Choice back and fourth. And we come back to Brave Deacon fifth in the Periwinkle colors. And we had one go down up front there. Real Factor unseated the rider. The horses continued to run on. As jockey Mark Watts down. And the rider is still down on the track behind jump number three there. So we shall see what happens as they go into that turn. It's on to love and market bubble now, one, two. Quality choice after them in the third position. Then comes Brave Deacon in fourth. It's two and a half more than back to hard game in the fifth spot. Please call me back is sixth. Then comes 21 guns and Lahara is at the back. It does appear that jockey Alex Harvey now out of the way of the course. So the race shall continue on, I suspect, as On to Love is the leader. Market bubble second. They're too clear of quality choice in the third position as they go over the first of three backstra jumps. Seismic Wave is still running along there with the pack. Without the riders, they head over the second jump. So one jump remaining in the course here. As in fact, they did not take that jump. The rail was set down, thus to avoid potential issue there with jockey Alex Harvey. So the race goes into the far turn. No more jumps remaining. And up on the front end, Market Bubble is the leader. Market Bubble and Jamie Barger in front of length and a half to quality choice. Two more then, and back to a Brave Deacon, who's running along in third. Starting to move up on the outside, Lahara in the maroon colors now takes over that third position. Then we come back to hard game on the outside. Starting to wind up is Please Call Me Back, who's made up some good ground. Brave Deacon being eased out of the race. It appears down toward the inside. So they come to the top of the stretch. Market bubble quality choice. Lahara just in behind. On the outside, continuing to make up ground is Please Call Me Back. Hard game in behind them as they come with a final furlong left to go. Please Call Me Back quality choice. These two up on the outside going to with a narrow advantage. Lahara down toward the inside is third with market bubble and fourth. It's Please Call Me Back in front. Please call me back. The leader at the 16th pole in front of length and a half. Quality choice is second. Please call me back. And Parker Hendricks in front with 50 yards left to go. It's please call me back. Wins it by two. Quality choice was second. Third went to Lahara and fourth. 21 guns.
Two, five, six, and nine, the unofficial order finished. The stewards are posting the inquiry sign and inquiry here in today's 11th. Please hold up. Two five six nine again. A stewards inquiry in progress here for today's eleventh. Heading towards the winner's enclosures, number two, please call me back. Five-year-old Dark Bayer Brown Gelding by Hard Spun out of Dixie Chicken. Brent Ontario by Sean Fitzhenny and Dorothy Fitzhenny. Uplands Flats racing the owners, Kerry Bryan, the trainer, Parker Hendricks. Board for the winning ride. Again, this race is subject to a steward's inquiry. You don't need to hold all tickets because there's no wagering. Stewards have taken down the inquiry sign. There'll be no change to the order of finish. Results will stand as is, two, five, six, and nine here in today's 11th race. We'll go official shortly. Just a reminder, the flat wagering portion of our card, starting in race one in 42 minutes. We are fast and firm here at Colonial Downs. Partly cloudy skies, a pleasant afternoon for Monday racing. We'll have scratches, changes, and our national anthem coming up in about 12 minutes' time. Post time for the opener in 42 minutes.